Unity 6 will be our biggest and most stable release. Your Unity 6 project crashes are down in Unity 6 compared to 2022 LTS. Our boosting performance enormously. This, that is what the marketing is telling us. The best performing and stable version of Unity they've ever shipped. Wow. Now I know this is just a super sexy marketing slang, but all I keep hearing is our previous versions of Unity were so horrible that we really couldn't have gone wrong with the new Unity 6. But stable or not, version 6000.0.23f1 marks the moment that Unity 6 is officially out of beta, out of preview, and it has finally been officially released. And it comes with epic goodies like the adaptive probe volumes, render graphs, spatial temporal post-processing, proper DirectX 12 support, GPU resonant drawer, GPU occlusion calling, split graphic jobs, and of course new sexy integrated AI tools and much more. You can now disable the annoying and rather old-fashioned splash screen, we all know they already killed the previous much-hated runtime fee, and they will start increasing the price of Unity Pro license tier by the end of this year and will continue to do so every year. As some of you already know, I am the developer of a few popular upscaling assets on the Unity Asset Store, and I have closely followed the earlier preview versions of Unity 6, as many of my customers decided to switch their projects to these beta versions of Unity 6. But because Unity is making massive changes to every new Unity 6 preview version, cramming in every available feature that every developer and intern ever worked on, killing all my upscaling assets with every preview version of Unity 6. The last few months have felt like a losing battle between Unity changing the render pipelines in between every new preview version and me having to fix my assets because of new bugs they introduced. All because Unity has enabled the marketing train and is shouting out loud that even the preview beta version of Unity 6 is the best performing and stable version of Unity ever. Which of course it is not. In the past, at the end of each Unity version they said, okay, we've worked on this version for over a year, now it's time to stop adding in new features and only fix bugs. That version would from then on be called a long-term support version, or in short, LTS. But with Unity 6, they did it a bit differently. They finally decided to make massive changes to the core parts of the engine, which is great. Adding a lot of new sexy toys, tools and features and releasing that pile of bug-riddled shit as Unity 6. Then they called the marketing department and said, we know it's buggy, but please make it a sexy sell. And so they call this currently released Unity 6 version a long-term support or LTS one as well, suggesting that it is as stable as a version that they have stopped adding new features to and are only bug fixing. But they are still adding new features to Unity 6. So they are adding new bugs as well. Push. Let me jump in real quick here. I know I'm going to get a lot of shit from all the happy Unity 6 users that they haven't run into any issues with Unity 6 and that it's the best editor for them and well, I'm super happy for you, don't get me wrong, but I'm an asset store developer and I talk to loads of game developers on a daily basis and many of them, including myself, are having game-breaking issues and crashes with Unity 6. <laughs> I love that they are finally making the engine more future-ready with modern techniques and massive improvements to the workflow pipelines, but selling this to the development community as the next best thing that everybody and their dog should upgrade their projects to because it is the best and most stable version ever. While the truth is that it is barely out of beta. Needless to say, they are also quite screwing over all asset store developers because we now need to work very hard to upgrade our assets to support a partially rewritten and buggy engine, which is probably also going to have game breaking or asset breaking changes each month. But don't mind grumpy old me. We should probably all still be celebrating that they killed off their insanely stupid runtime fee concept and are making the engine even more attractive for smaller indie studios by increasing the amount of revenue you can make as a studio before they force you to buy a Unity Pro license. 
and allowing everybody to remove the splash screen. And come on, look at this. This is amazing. I would almost forget I was looking at something that was actually made in Unity. And that is because it isn't. I mean, sure, of course, it is made in Unity, or at least I very much hope so. But it isn't rendered in real time. It is pretty shameless to make these super sexy videos to show us what epic stuff the engine can do while in fact it can't. It's a game engine. It's meant to render stuff in real time. Take Unreal 5 for example. They actually use showcase videos that look even better and surprise surprise are rendered in real time on a bloody PlayStation. But not every marketing video is a scam, fortunately. We've also got this fun Fantasy Kingdom demo, which in all fairness is not a lie and it does inspire game devs how well their indie game could look and run in Unity 6, for which it will probably get used most. But when I take a closer look at this demo, I seriously think I could have made this in every random previous version of Unity. And with fewer crashes probably as well. And so I did. And it actually runs faster in Unity 2021. Now of course it doesn't look the same, but that's only because I didn't want to waste my time having to redo all the post-processing effects. And so is Unity 6 the indie game dev savior we all want? Or is it just another smart marketing ploy? From where I'm sitting, it is starting to look like it's just a marketing hoax. But in any case, it seems that at least someone at Unity is starting to wake up and is trying to get the engine back on track. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what is going to happen with Unity in the future. But that's it for this week. Hope to see you again next week and don't forget to like and subscribe. was just a flare Five a second, climbing high No more crashes, no more signs Creating worlds with ease and grace Unity 6 is in first place Unity 6, you're the one we trust Building dreams, no time to rust The best performing we've ever known Unity 6, our hearts have grown At least that is what the marketing is telling us Is upon a screen There's unity free from living dreams Innovations taking flight All our future's looking bright No more glitches, no more fears Stable paths in all frontiers Creativity unleashed at last Unity 6, forget the past Unity 6, you're the one we trust Building dreams, no time to rust the best performing we've ever known Unity 6, our hearts have grown At least that is what the marketing is telling us